Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models, my name is Bobby Waldron and welcome to this next video which is going to be a bit of a tutorial stroke product review uh, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a look at um, AK Interactive's Intermediate Gay Uzi Agent. Now um, I've kind of decided to do this video because uh, you know I've read the forum and a few people have suggested that this stuff is better than what I normally use. I normally go off and we've all used it, you know, the pledge multi-surface wax floor cleaner, or whatever they're gonna call it or rebrand it on keep on branding it yes it does do the job I've done loads of models with it it does a fantastic job really really cheap sprays for the airbrush fantastic but this is something for scale modeling and it's something that yes is going to be more expensive but really you know let's find out if it is better is what the the question is here so we're just going to do some nice bit of basic spraying here um, first off we're going to start off with our airbrush it's around about at the 20 psi um, sort of a nice pot in which to pour this in um, as you can see this is um, a bit of an old pot right so i can tell you that um you know you leave this um, for a certain amount of time and you really got to kind of crack this um, the, the lid off really kind of twist it because it does um, dry on the lid and everything but you know it, I did manage to get off I didn't have to get tools on it or anything um, plain and simply um, oh just to just to let you know yeah I mean I got an extractor fan face mask and everything but I can't use these things when I'm filming but you should be and I will be when the cameras are off so um, we've got all that covered uh, so first off we have a model just here in which you know we've done some painting and stuff and we need to give it a gloss coat ready for deckling or pretty much you know whenever putting any kind of gloss coats down or with this gloss coat it's all about protecting your work it's all about you know we've say sprayed the model we put a gloss coat on it to protect our spray work um, we can you know put a gloss coat on ready for deckling so our decals go on easier as well as we can put a gloss coat on again to seal in those decals and get it ready for weathering um, and you can even in between weathering putting gloss coats on and stuff to protect um, depending on where you go about your weathering uh, before you put on that final matte coat but so gloss coats are quite crucial in sort of professional scale modeling to put basically protect everything as well as just to keep in mind this is a water-based gloss as well so you know stuff like weathering is pretty sort of crucial you know to put that gloss coat on your model so as you know when we use weathering products which are normally you know the type we like to use are sort of enamels oils right those kind of things you don't want to be eating into decals into paintwork or anything like that so by this being a water-based type um, gloss coat or varnish whatever you want to call it what it will basically do is it'll act like oil to water right so because this is water-based our weathering products are like oil enamel sort of based um, it'll be a bit like oil to water so uh, we want to put a, a gloss coat on to protect our work in those instances uh, and basically what we do nice and simple I'll just do this front bit just here is right we'll just go off and we start off with that light misty coat right I always like to put a light misty coat down which is basically a coat in which you basically don't see this going down it's just to get a bit of paint on the model to start the sticking process so when we do all our proper normal light coats it's got something to stick to it's sticking to something it likes to i.e itself right um, and not only that it will dry pretty quick because it is just a misty coat so we can cut to air by just pressing down the trigger and it will dry this off pretty sort of quickly quickly enough that here I am on camera we can now jump into a light coat now with the light coat we just want to be spraying this down and as soon as we see it being wet we want to be moving along right we don't want to let this get wet start pooling up right we don't want any sort of nasty dribbles and whatnot kind of being on our model and we've got ourselves a nice light coat there and already with the first coat we're starting to see this nicely shine up right but now we do need to leave it to dry for probably about 10 15 minutes just to make sure that you know it's kind of dried enough and then we'll put on a second coat i mean you can cut to air just to speed things up 
but I'll be back to you when I've put on enough coats to get this nice and shiny. So there we go, there's our results after about three or four coats, right? Um, I could just really imagine the more you coat you put on this, the, the more shiny you're gonna get. It really does build up and build up. But hopefully as you can see, really, really shiny, um, you know, I've been, I basically just sprayed this and it feels, you know, touch dry, just like you would the, the multi-surface wax cleaner, which by the way, have a tub just here. Um, just at the back here, this is where I have used the multi-surface wax cleaner and sprayed that on, you know, and you can really sort of notice the difference in shine. And the thing is about shine is basically the surface is going to probably be most likely more smoother. The more smoother it is going to be so much more better for putting decals on, right? Um, so all in all, I do think it is a good product and you know, because you get a better shine from it, I would probably say it is a better product. However, you know, it's all kind of personal preference. What we're talking here is about seven pound a pot, which this is 100 mils. Whereas I think last time I brought some of this stuff was years and years ago, because it lasts forever. This is 750 mils, and I think I paid less than a fiver i can't remember how much i paid for it mega mega cheap stuff and it does still do the job however um i do appreciate that depending on which country you're in um getting your hands on this because it changes brands so many times over the years it does get a bit confusing especially for you new guys to know you know what's it called where do you buy it in which country what it's called and where do you buy it um you know it as those kind of drawbacks but you know it is cheap it does the job and you get tons of it whereas you know AK Interactive, AK Interactive is a well-known brand. Um, loads and loads of online stores do stock it, so you know it's probably been more easy to get your hands on it, and it is better. Um, it is obviously a bit more expensive, but that is totally up to you. I think it's a great product um, and well worth the money, and it's definitely something I want to you know try and get into the Genesis Model Store at some point. So um, hopefully you've enjoyed that, and hopefully it's got kind of brought some more light onto glossing um, any kind of model you do but hopefully you've enjoyed that so until next time as always my name is bob waldron this is genesis models and i'll catch you in the next video